What's up everyone, today we're going to take a look at a DoorDash SQL interview question asked, you can get a scientist and data analyst interviews. This one's called Average Order Cost During Rush Hours and hosted on stratasearch.com. Let's get into it. Now I think that's a really good question because it's really about the DoorDash business model and a real use case that you could sum upon at your desk job or your work at DoorDash. And the task is to write a query that returns the average order cost per hour during hours 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. 15 to 18 in military time in San Jose. For calculating time period, use customer place order date time field. Earnings value is order total field and order the output by hour. So yeah, we should calculate the average order cost during rush hour in San Jose. Rush hour is between 3 and 6 p.m. And we have some fields that we should use. There's a lot of fields in this DoorDash delivery table we can preview here but as the question states customer place order date time is an important one order total is an important one and for filtering to San Jose we can probably use delivery region yeah but great question I think the main challenge here it's pretty laid out actually in the question so instructions are quite clear but the main challenge is probably to get the hour value for an order as you can see customer place order date time that's the first field is a date timestamp or date time including full up to, up to the second was well, it's zero here but yeah full day time and we should just extract the hour and yeah, we're going to do this using the extract function. So let's, let's do that straight away. So we want to extract the hour from customer placed order date time. I think that's a beautiful function. Basically tells you exactly what it does. Extracting the hour from this field. And we're selecting that column, new column from our table DoorDash delivery. So I'm just gonna do this to showcase what this does. Basically translates the entire date time thing to only the hour number. So 1623 becomes 16, 1659 becomes 16, 1700 becomes 17, and so on. For our expected output, we should only have hours 15, 16, and 17 in there. I think in our preview table, we only have orders from 4 p.m. or 16. Otherwise, 15 should also count and be included because 15, 32 should be 15. If we extract the hour from that, it should be 15 and should be included. 18.01 would be after 6 p.m or 18 or all, so it shouldn't be included. We should theoretically have our 15, 16 and 17 in here if we had orders yeah, during all these hours in San Jose. Anyways, so this extract function is amazing. You could also change it to year or any other. Yeah, basically what's supported by the function, but any date part could be used pretty much year, month, I think even stuff like minute and second or weekday or whatever. So it's pretty powerful. Let's call that one hour if it doesn't populate it as hour anyways. Let's get the average earnings by using the order total field as we're told in these instructions. Call that average earnings. From DoorDash delivery and yeah we want to group by the hour to get the average earnings per hour I think we could just do group by one to not spell that out again but it's pretty much the same thing just group by the first column and let's see whether that works we do get a lot of stuff here <laughs> but we didn't filter to San Jose yet and we should also order by hour. Let's order by hour. Oh, no. Yeah, it's order by one as well. 
ascendingly should be ascending by default and let's have a where in here to filter to San Jose delivery region should be San Jose see if that works no typos it does yeah we still need to filter to rush hour only so delivery region should be San Jose and and this entire thing should be between. It's a nice use of the between keyword. Between 15 and 17. Since between is inclusive, if I were to write 18, it would include 18 and not be up to anything that's below 18, if that makes sense. But we want to include 15 and 17. So let's run that code. We're going to get 16 and 17 just as in the expected output. Check solution. And it's correct. Perfect. So that's it for that question. I, I'd say it's medium. Yeah. Um, it, it's very important to know your date manipulations as these often come up in questions. Just take one or take one dialect. This is PostgreSQL. And yeah, have your date manipulations, maybe have a cheat sheet to, rem to memorize these or just to learn these. Write down your most important date manipulations and you should be good. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this question. See you all in another video. I'm gonna leave a link to this exact question in the description. So you can try it on stressfresh.com and maybe try more, sign up for membership using the link and support the channel this way. Anyways, that's it for me. See you next time.